Thanks for tuning in to uh, this episode here today. Uh, we have got a monster of a plane uh, to do some unboxing with. Uh, this is uh, one that I'm actually pretty darn excited for. Uh, we've been wanting to get our hands on it for a little while and we just got the chance to. This is the uh, Freewing ME262. This is a dual 70 millimeter ducted fan jet, World War II. Uh, German plane and uh, yeah we're, we're pretty excited to get this thing open and up in the air so I guess the only way to start on this big of a project is dive in somewhere in the middle uh, so we picked this up uh, from Motion RC and uh, UPS guy was really quite curious what the heck was in this big of a box ooh the uh, interior box actually is looking pretty cool. Let me see if I can, uh, there we go, get this open. All right, so we're gonna try and uh, open this up facing you guys. Get it out of its box. There we go. Big old monster airplane here. There we go. So it's kind of funny, as we, uh, we do these unboxings, the more and more we do, the more and more we find foam, uh, the high density foam, specifically on the back of the box. We know that we're going to have a plane in here that's more complete and a little bit more put together and usually of a higher quality than other planes that are on the market. So that's a, that's a good sign. At a glance, uh, love to see that. All right, get ourselves our four tape joints here, and up we go. <laughs> oh, the suspense! Wow! <laughs> um, wow! Let me just show you what I'm seeing here. That's a, that's a beautiful plane. Look at how well that's packaged. Let's see if I can bring that up into the camera here a little bit. I think that's fantastic. So we've got our wings, fuselage, looks like we've got our tail, a few little accessories and uh, carbon spar, and our, our manual. So let's go ahead and dive in and you know it's kind of funny in so many of these unboxing videos the very last thing that come out of the box is always the fuselage and uh, it just so happens that in this case it is the first thing that is coming out and oh my goodness wow whoa <laughs> There's a full pilot, and I mean a full pilot now. Not bad. Downside is he looks like he wants to fall out the bottom of the plane. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. What do we got next? So let's uh, let's dive into this tail right here. And uh, just score a couple of these points so we can set the knife aside. All right, tail, wow, first impressions is that is beautifully built. Good strong foam, looks like the servos are nested actually in the, uh, in the rudder itself, so that's pretty cool. Uh, good solid plastic connectors, really great first impression on this plane all the way around. We've got our Stabilizer here, there we go. Elevators, carbon fiber spar connecting them. We've got quality control stamps on things. Oh, we sure do on every single part. Well, let's hope that they actually did their jobs. Uh, hey, this is great. Uh, so we've got a big solid plastic uh, joiner for those two wing halves. And uh, looks like we've already got our uh, our control horns installed, yep, over here as well. So that's nice. 
Looks like we've got uh, a few plastic connectors. These are uh, probably holding the wings together. Uh, looks like we've got some electrical connectors. Servo wires and screws. With a full part list. I, I tell you, the, the free wing planes, they impress me. They, they are very high quality. Um, so let's pull the first wing out. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. All of our control rods are hooked up. We've got our flap split wing. Wow, two pieces of, of flaps it looks like. Landing gears installed, plastic. Uh, body with a metal center insert there. Uh, looks like our ESCs are nested in the wing. 12 blade 70 millimeter. Uh, EDF uh, ducted fan right there. Pretty cool. Set this aside. I can tell just looking at this plane right now, this is going to go together very quickly. Very, very quickly. Alright. Looks like I've got a piece of foam. Nicely cut foam. Everything is super snug. I don't see any signs of damage or chafing. Wow, that is going to be a great looking plane. And again, we've been pretty excited for this. And uh, yeah, that is everything for the manual. There we go. Yeah, we've been pretty excited for this for a while. And uh, Wow, the build quality does not disappoint. Looks like our, we've got gears up front with our door that closes. Supposedly this plane will actually go over 100 miles an hour. So, uh, and mind you, that's actual, not scale. So that will be quite the thing to see. All right, well, I tell you what, the easy answer here for me is let's go ahead and jump into our assembly and our build. We'll fire up the time-lapse cameras and uh, let's see if we can't get this thing airworthy and put together.
So here we have it. The uh, the free wing Mischer Schmidt ME262 uh, is done. It's ready to fly. Uh, I gotta be honest. I've done a lot of plane builds. This was one of the smoothest, easiest uh, to put together planes I've ever seen. All the control surfaces all, are already dialed in. I don't have to fiddle with, you know, adjusting my, my push rod lengths. Um, the plane went together just so easily. Um, honestly, I, I think it came down to like four, five, six, seven, seven, seven screws and that was it. Control rod install, which was a snap. I, I'm blown away at how just great this plane is. Um, let's talk through some of the, the features here in a second, but I just had to say that because I'm kind of sitting here going, wow. So I have not done a thrust check yet. This is the very first, the maiden thrust check. We have our six cell battery in here, 5,000 milliamp. Uh, we're using a Gen's Ace battery. And uh, whew, let's see, let's see what this thing wants to do. Uh, go through, do our, our high five. Oh yeah. Check our flaps. Oh, those look so good. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna hold on to this beast because I got a feeling she's gonna have some power. Boy, how am I gonna hold on to this? There we go, okay, that, that feels comfortable. Here we go, let's see what this does. have played with six or not six a uh, 70 millimeter EDS before uh, the the e Storch runs 64s and the, uh, the we have a variant of it that runs 70s right now in fact the last build I did run 70s um, the thrust out of this thing is shocking and I, I the only thing I can attribute it to is the fact that we're using that six cell battery instead of a four cell on those EDS but holy cow, does this thing rip. Um, you know, talking through some of the virtues, the, the, the high points on this plane, there is visually not a single defect anywhere on this plane. The, and it's a very minor, very minor quibble. Uh, the one minor thing I have is the tape doesn't line up right here where it was cut, however, the decals, the, the stickers, came from the factory installed. I didn't have to install them. I didn't have to cut them. I didn't have to make everything line up nice and neat. Uh, being off by an eighth of an inch, I can live with that. Um, the dash and the cockpit is fantastic. It's 3D molded. Uh, there are bevels around all the dials and the gauges. Uh, the pilot even has a, a great little expression. Um, you know, the fact that we have on all of our control surfaces um, uh, some sort of a mechanical hinge is absolutely fantastic. This plane is going to last a long time and really truly it, it feels like it's engineered to be a hundred mile per hour plus plane. Uh, just rock solid. Um, you know, our, our front gear is super heavy duty and has some shock uh, dampening in there, little 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 shocks in there. Overall, again, oh, even our even our, our main gears do, and they're big, heavy duty gears. I just can't find anything wrong with this plane. Um, now, that being said, I love this plane, <laughs> so I don't want to destroy it. So I think the first thing I'm going to do that's, you know, kind of outside of the, the, the default factory idea here is I'm going to install a gyro. Uh, just getting some stabilization, get rid of my twitchiness uh, would be a big deal, good deal. Um, our throws do seem to be a little extreme here, so I may dampen those a little bit, add a little expo in. Um, but my gosh, this is a beautiful plane. You know, uh, Everything from this plane, stem to stern, just blows my mind. Now, the, the plane, if I recall, yes, uh, sorry, got a look off camera here, 100, or 
that seems like a lot of money, I realize. But there is such a quality difference in this plane from other planes that I've seen, even within the $300 price envelope. Um, this plane, by far, impresses me. God, you know, I, I honestly, I think it's on par, without a doubt, with the E-Flight planes. Uh, those are great planes. I think the plane that I want to liken it to the most, that's impressed me the most, would probably be the Hobby King B-17. Um, bells and whistles and price point really were pretty comparable. Um, it's just a fantastic plane and hey, pairing the two of those against each other just seems a little bit natural. So there you have it, our ME262. This is absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to get out and give her the maiden flight. That'll be coming here very shortly within the next week or so. And uh, I'm gonna leave you with, with the part that I enjoyed the most. I'm gonna leave you with one last thrust check. If I can hold on to this monster, because it wants, it wants to go. <laughs> Woo! Well, there's our review. Thank you. We'll see you out on the flight line. Keep flying. Oh, the planes are not happy on the ceiling. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful plane.